Hey guys, it's Sunday. It's time for our Sunday chat and Tabby's tips today. And uh, of course, you know, as usual around here, everything starts with scripture. And I want to talk about having a trustworthy love, having a love uh, that um, that respects others. Talking about uh, Christian love, or what we should see—excuse me—see as Christian love, and that is our conversation for today. And then we're gonna drop off a couple of tips for Mother's Day for y'all. Uh, who have to do something for your mom and you may not know what to do. I don't have a real idea about that. Uh, honestly, I'm a mom though. I could give you my ideas. <laughs> okay, so our scripture today comes from um, Romans 11, 9 through 16. And I'm going to read this from the NIV. It's one of my favorite uh translations but anyway let's go with it love must be sincere hate what is evil cling to what is good be devoted to one another in brotherly love honor one another above yourself never be lacking in zeal but keep your spiritual fervor serving the lord be joyful in hope patient in affliction faithful in prayer Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who are who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. That's an easy assignment. That's a Christian assignment to... Uh, basically love on people um i it really does not change uh today i ministered about what the commandment of god is and that's to love his people what the raw assignment is is simply to love it does not change uh born again christians that's who we are that's who we we said we were gonna be when we decided that we were going to follow in Jesus' mission. So our mission is to do what he did. Can people tell <clears throat> that you have the light of God within you? Can they see that coming from you? Um, I, I don't know. My thought is hopefully that they can. Uh, it's really simple when you think about it. I said practically, practical, simple practical and simple that we do the necessary things uh, to accomplish God's mission with the state of the of people in this world today if all of us could concentrate on loving each other instead of hating each other then we could we could turn a lot of things around in the earth today a lot of things in this country a lot of things in your neighborhood in this city for instance, I live in the city of Baton Rouge. We, for whatever reason, have had a spike in murders and violent crime around here lately. And my prayer is that people start to show a lot more love and compassion for each other. And maybe, just maybe, we could turn those things around in the world today. I, I don't know. Uh, God has given us the same instructions over and over again. We, the people, are the ones that decide if we want to follow the instructions or not. And But when we don't follow the instructions, then the havoc that we live in right now is what's taking place. Um, and it's a pretty easy assignment, guys, to do what he's asking us to do. It really is easy to love people because you have to make a decision to do it. Uh, we make all kind of decisions every day. We decide where we're going to work, where we're going to live, what kind of car we drive, what clothes we wear, how we look, the hairstyles we want to wear on our head. We do all those things. And the main thing that, that he's asking us to do is to love like Christians. Allow people to see your light shining through. Allow your beauty to be 
seen through not just the spiritual eyes but our physical eyes that people be able to tell that hey i'm a disciple of god it really is that easy but we have to decide that it's that easy we we being the christians we being the one that sit on the sideline and then walk by somebody that needs something but we evangelists this pastor that uh and don't want to be bothered those people the sinners all of us are sinners but the the people that are poor the ones in need the beggars the drug addicts the homeless the hungry all those people that we need to service kingdom citizens all of those people those are the people that we're talking about those are the people that god is talking about the people that the ministry or ministers of the word of god are supposed to be servicing those are the people that they're talking about but the state of the church right now does not reflect what god is talking about it just does not but we can change it we can change it we can change our minds too as well we can change it um uh, and that's mainly what I have to say about it. Because God puts it plainly in his word. And I wish, I pray that you would read it. Read it for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Don't believe Taff said it so it got to be so. No, don't do that. He gives the Bible so that we all could learn. I think we have, we lose out when we don't take advantage of uh, the opportunities that we have to learn. To take a moment to stop what we're doing and just take some time and learn about the important things. Uh, the important words of God to learn what his ministry is for us for what our assignment is in this life now the raw assignment is to love people the one that covers all commandments is to love people uh, even those people you don't want to even the people you don't like even the people that you just look you can't do it without him anyway you just can't to, you know, you have to forgive people and you can't forgive people without him, even though the forgiveness is for you. It saves your life. It cleanses your soul. It cleanses your mind, your heart and your body, y'all. It does. It does. So this is kind of a thing of passion and compassion for me, from me to you, because as I studied the lesson that uh, I ministered on this week, uh, it, it was talking about having passion in the things that we do. We have to be passionate lovers, not in an exotic way, but passionate lovers uh, for, for the people of God. Be passionate about the service for those people. Be passionate about the things that are important. Because I think everything that you're passionate about, you will dump into it. You will pour so much into that. You know, like my sister's keeper and Tabby's tips and these videos every Sunday. I'm passionate about that because I want to talk to you. Um, I want to pour into you and let you know that what I'm saying to you, I am. I really do care about it. I care about loving you. You know, I, my prayer is soon or one day whenever God sees fit. I don't know. I, uh, whenever he sees fit to grow this channel and to uh, expand what I'm saying to people. You know, that, thank you God for it. But if he just said, Tab, you can only touch the 21 or 2 or however many that you touch on YouTube and then the people on Facebook, you know, whoever watches the video, if, if that's all he gives, it's okay. Because I'm fulfilling my assignment through the meat, through through the uh, through the internet and, and the services that he has for, for, for me to do. But I still may be falling short. Of what my assignment is. So maybe that's why I haven't increased yet. But whatever he say. I'm okay with it. Because we have to operate in humility. And to care about what God is saying. And what our assignment is. And what we're doing about it. All these things. Make a difference. It make a difference. In how we operate in the world today. Now I'm telling you. That. For some reason. And this is just make this is kind of just coming to me, and I'm really kind of realizing it as I'm speaking to you. That I knew I was passionate about 
women and service to women and the service of ministry to the public. But I just really got a gut feeling, and this is something that I studied earlier too, a gut feeling that God wants me to really start to focus more on his people. And that's why he probably keeping me or kept me in the love area since the beginning of the year and has not allowed me to move yet. It's because he wants me to get a passion, a real passion for not just women, but for people in general. And that will help me to understand what my assignment is. My assignment is strictly to love. I know that and be passionate about it and have compassion through everything he's telling me to do. My God, that's just, that's a real revelation for me right here, right now to tell you the truth. Cause I didn't, I didn't even know that. I thought my assignment was strictly to my passion. My, my passion was, is, is for women. But now I see that he's directing me to have passion for people, not just women, passion for people. My God, <laughs> y'all getting this while I'm getting it. I swear, I swear. Oh my goodness. But anyway, you know, that's the message for y'all today. Um, it's to love like a, like a Christian, not like a, a Christian in speech only you know when you say it out your mouth but your actions don't reflect it you know the cussing christian and all them not them no the ones who do the work of the kingdom the ones who's showing true love compassion and passion for what god has said to do and that's to become the royal um to to uphold the raw commandment to love Make the decision, no matter who it is, what it is, why it is. I got to love you, no matter what. I got to love you. I got to love you, even though you don't love me, even though you're throwing hate at me, even though you decide that I'm not good enough. I know I'm good enough, but I still got to love you. I got to love you. I got to love you. My decision has been made. I'm going to love you no matter what. My decision is made. My decision is to follow the love commandment that God has released into my life. And thank God that I could see that's where he's been steering me. And I couldn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. To, I really didn't get it. And I, I want to leave y'all, I want to give you a, a a song and I have it on my sister's keeper uh, on Facebook. And it's called God's Love is Extravagant. My God. The guy's name is Daryl. Uh, what's Daryl's name? Daryl Allen, I think. The Allen or Evans. I don't remember. But anyway, he sings this song. I really heard it like a couple of days ago. Or maybe even last night or whatever. But whenever I, whenever I got it, I'm like, man. The words to the song just almost changed my life. And I've been listening to like Worship Mob forever. He's a part of Worship Mob whenever... Uh, they sing together. Uh, but anyway, his song, I think it's Daryl Allen is, is the name. That song, the words, oh, it was cutting, it was like piercing cuts, what he was saying in that song. And I'm like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. And it's so true that God's love is extravagant. But we uh, just take it for granted that it is that, that it's available to us. Because it is available to us. We take it, take it for granted that it is. So, wow. Wow. That's all I got right now is a wow. Anyway, chosen people, uh, Mother's Day is coming up. And um, for me, my kids already know what I love. I love XO perfume, which I can barely get now. Not just anyone, but, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a specific one. <laughs> anyway, you can get it on Amazon for like $50. And everywhere I go, people will go like, what do you have on? It's like one of the best perfumes anyway. It's, I should keep it top secret, but that wouldn't be the right kind of love, giving y'all that, not giving y'all the right information. But that's one of my type, my top favorites uh, perfume. And like for my mother, she likes, uh, well, she have everything in my opinion. 
So we just give her money, let her do whatever she want to do. So, and for most people who don't have mothers who, you know, you visit in the graveyard, you know, we want to pray with you that, uh, you know, you sow into somebody's life, your children's mother, uh, a friend that you may have, uh, or something like that. Because you know what? Nobody could get here without a mother. It takes a woman to get you here. A mother. Somebody who's done, who has gone above and beyond for you. Somebody who has, uh, you know, maybe even stopped their life so that you have a, a better opportunity than they did. Uh, and I want to take this opportunity to thank my mom, Mary James Bynum, for being a super mom. For showing up for me no matter what. If I if if I can't count on nobody else, I can count on her. My mama is going to be there. And actually, my gift for Mother's Day is, is the fact that she is going to be with me on a cruise. So we're going on a cruise together and spending like seven days together. So that's a, a blessing and a, a blessing for me. And you know what? For her, she gets to get her money. That's what she wanted. So that's what she gets. And let me show you guys mine. Mother's Day gift that she gave me. I have to bring the camera down a little bit. This uh, little cameo of a heart, a mother and a child together. Really, to me, it represents us. And, and I think it's very pretty. And I appreciate her. And I want all the mothers out there to know that, you know, we play an important part in this world. We play a, uh, an important part in the progress of this world. We play a uh, important part. Some of us are grandmothers are not taking care of our grandchildren. And so that makes you a mother two times over. Uh, <clears throat> I've been blessed because all my children have all their own children. Uh, <laughs> they're doing their own thing. And I'm blessed that, that I can have an emptiness and I get to go do whatever I want to do. Uh, so it's a blessing. And God knows I love my kids to death. I love my grand... Oh, let me change that statement because we have to watch what we say i love them to life <laughs> and i love my grandchildren to life so i also want to uh, make sure that we acknowledge that those children grandchildren all of those people that we play an important part in their lives uh that we send our love and so we're sending our love to all of you guys that may not have somebody or a mother in your life right now but just on that day, just have some fond memories of your mother. And hopefully, prayerfully, before I leave next week to go on my cruise, I'll get an opportunity to come out and do this one, do this video for next week. And then that'll just keep me on track so I won't have to do that. Well, I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. And I don't want to do, <laughs> do that for y'all. I want to be here to do the work that God has chosen me to do uh, always. Always always operating in love always operating in love so hey y'all keep being amazing people i appreciate y'all so much i really do i love y'all i love you with a passion now that i understand what god is trying to tell me to love people with passion wow what a great revelation to discover i i wasn't i wasn't cracking the code but <laughs> That's why he make you stay where you are because you have to crack the code. Man, how? Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. What a revelation. And y you guys get to sit here and share what I just figured out for myself. We share it together. Isn't that something? God is so magnificent. I'm telling you, he, his love is extravagant. It is extravagant. So, and y'all go and find that song too. I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed by that song. The guy, oh, it's just, it's fantastic. I, I really can't stop listening to these people's music. I'm constantly listening to it. I don't care how many times it plays. I'm constantly listening to Worship Mob. They have some of the best worship music. I'm telling you, just listen. If you ever have time to just, you know, uh, if you're worshiping God, he's in your presence. And you want him present with you at all times. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm done. Y'all have a good day. And please don't forget about your moms next week. Do not forget about them. Cherish them. Cherish your mom. Because once they're gone, once they move on, 
That's that. And so, while they're still here, cherish your mother. Treat her like the queen that she is. Forgive them if they've done you wrong and keep moving. I'm telling you, you're going to find that on, on the other side of forgiveness is a lot of love, peace, and joy. Love, peace, and joy. That's a tabby's tip. Love, peace, and joy. Forgive, move on. Love, peace, and joy. That's what it equals to. All right? So, I love y'all. We'll talk next week. Let's say next week. Bye.